Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Dom from Lens Pro to Go and Lens Rentals. Welcome back to the channel. So if you've noticed that this week's upload is a little bit different than what we normally do, that's probably because I switched up my skincare routine and I think my complexion is particularly glowing today. No, obviously not. It's because this video was uploaded in 180 degree virtual reality, which is now fully integrated and part of the YouTube uploading sort of system, which is super cool. So if you haven't noticed already, you can actually click and drag around this video to look around, or if you're viewing on a mobile device or you've already figured out how to get this onto a VR headset, you can just look around this video to navigate it. And if you are viewing on that mobile device, all you have to do is just move that device through 3D space to navigate around this video. So super cool. But eyes up here, all right, because I want to share a couple of things I've learned since posting last week's video, which was just like a breakdown of the build of this crazy looking lens and the dual optics and stuff like that. And also I gave a couple of pointers on the VR workflow. But the important thing is, is that that video was uploaded in just like a regular 4K non-VR format like all of our other posts. So all of that VR sample footage in that video had to be shown in the stereoscopic side-by-side -side version that only works with a headset. So since then, I've found out that YouTube actually already has this VR integration totally built into the upload process. So now I can upload virtual reality footage as virtual reality footage and YouTube will know to put it in the click and scroll sort of interface that you can do on desktop. And if you notice, there's a little icon in the bottom left of this video that actually says VR 180 and that's a good indicator that this video will be interactive in that way. I was already impressed with Canon's system for shooting and processing this VR footage, but now that I know that it's even integrated and streamlined on the publishing end on YouTube, now I want to shoot VR videos like all the time. So you may have noticed that the maximum resolution for this video is a kind of obscure 4320S with that 8K in superscript above it. And I'm pretty certain that this means 4320 stereoscopic. And basically really what this means is that at any given time while you're watching this video, that's only a 4.3K frame. Although the entirety of the image, like including where you're able to look around to, is an 8K video file that just technically uses like two of those 4K images like stitched together. So it is technically 8K, although at any given time, it's really more like 4.3K. And the exporting process on Premiere's end for doing this is super easy. You have that stereoscopic video in your timeline. Once it's ready to export, you just scroll all the way down there to the very final option, click that VR checkbox, and then make sure everything is set to the side-by-side -side stereoscopic option. And also both of those angle sets are to 180 degrees. That's the workflow that you're gonna do for this lens. And that is pretty much it. Then. Once you export it, YouTube will take that file and know that it's a virtual reality video file and perfectly integrate it into their system. Awesome. And everyone out there seems to recommend exporting the video at like the highest possible bitrate and quality, but I understand if you're not able to do this because honestly, this video that I'm making right now, I expect to be like an eight plus hour export just being like eight to 10 minutes of 8K VR footage. So if you can't absolutely like blast up that bit rate, it's probably fine. Full transparency, I'll probably end up exporting this video at like 25, maybe 30 Mbps. So with all of that out of the way, now that we're in this virtual reality world, I can finally roll some of this 180 degree VR footage that I've had, but now it can be enjoyed with or without a virtual reality headset. Like I said, if you're on desktop, you can just scroll around this footage, or if you're on mobile, you can physically move that device around in 3D space to navigate the video, or you could go all the way and get this video going on a VR headset and just be fully immersed. So enjoy the footage, and we'll see you in next week's video.